I'm at uh, Table Rock State Park just outside Branson, Missouri. I'm gonna have a great day. I'm going to Silver Dollar City. I'm gonna go see this movie at the Branson IMAX about the Ozarks history and cowboys and things I saw before. I really enjoyed it. It's only an hour long. Pleasant day. I love it. It's overcast, and but it's not raining. Very mild, like 68, 70 degrees. I thought I'd tell my moon story recently. I don't know if I've shared this on this YouTube, -y, but I, I was in Laughlin, Nevada. I've been there a few times. They comp flight and stay. You know, I'm not proud of that, but at Harris, I was standing outside at Harris in Laughlin, Nevada, and I feel compelled to look up at the stars and space and contemplate eternity and infinity and beyond and uh, looked up at the moon and I took a good hard look besides all the clouds doing weird things with the moon. I won't get into that even. I thought I saw a big old black spot, a big old black blemish on the moon. I'm like, am I seeing things? So I, don't, I just get the idea. I pull my phone out and I hit the little microphone and I said, is there a black spot on the moon? And it came up that just a few, couple weeks earlier, I think the United States or someone, someone or some nation or entity, I don't know, uh, deliberately crashed a satellite into the moon, according to this article. I haven't looked at them since. I don't care. But that's odd, isn't it? Okay. So yeah, that's odd. That's unusual. So fast forward about a month and a half. I'm in Florida last week. I don't see these things in Illinois. I don't think I've seen them in Missouri or Wisconsin. Maybe it's a Midwest thing. I'm kind of inclined to think Illinois in general is under their dark cloud and God's displeasure, let's just say the least. Let's just put it that way. I'm talking about Illinois, where I'm from, where I live. But anyway, I haven't seen this. But I was in Florida, in Orlando. I was at the uh, uh, the French Quarter, New Orleans uh, Disney Resort. I better go. This guy's coming with his boat. But anyway, I looked up at the moon. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, I was at Swift, Low Sapphire Universal. It was like the second to last night I was there. Yeah, I was at Universal. Sorry. And I looked up at the moon again. And uh, it looked like the moon, besides a whole bunch of things, I'm like, like what the frick am I seeing? Among other things going on around and on in front, whatever, on the moon. Um, it looks like the moon's got a pimple in the far right-hand corner from where I'm sitting and standing or whatnot. Looking out from the seventh floor of Low Sapphire Falls at Universal Orlando Resort. And, and so I grabbed my phone like I did before in Laughlin. I said, is there something hiding behind the moon? And it comes up for you few weeks earlier they found some huge structure that's what they called it a structure apparently people aren't hearing about this i don't watch the news i don't stay plugged in i see these things with my eyes because god has blessed me <clears throat> believe me i'm continuously questioning and gaslighting myself but these stories i'm telling you right now are true yes it said there's a big huge structure and they don't know what it is well go figure oh yeah elon Musk. He, he is convinced we live in a simulation and he's probably got 20, 30,000 satellites blanking the planet right now. So you do the math on that one too. But hey, don't worry about any of it. Just accept Christ as your savior. Honestly, he's true. He's the way, the truth, and the life. The Bible is true. God, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then don't listen. Ain't my hogwash. Don't be scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. But accept Christ in your heart. Because even if I, everything I say in is hogwash and baloney, which it isn't, but even if it is, you could still die today. So you never know. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. So let the Lord in your heart live for him. Ask him what's wrong in your life, your sins, your mistakes, your wayward ways. And and uh, he'll, he'll answer a prayer like that if you mean business. And he'll repent. Live a life worthy of repentance and be cleansed by Christ. And it's 100% him on the cross. Receive a gift of the Holy Spirit. He will reveal things to you. And if not, don't worry about it. If you believe in Christ to save you, you're going to go to heaven. But he will change you if there's time. There, he will change you if you're, if you're really walking with the Lord. So I pray love and blessings. Hey, don't sweat it. Love you, Johnny.